In this lesson, we are going to be going over natural logarithms. This is Algebra 2, Section 8.6. A natural logarithm in math is not the kind of natural log that you would get when you would eat a bunch of fiber. A natural log in math stands for a log with a base of e. Now, this is a special logarithm in our calculator. We don't use the regular log button. We use the LN button. It's right below the regular log button in your calculator. And the LN stands for natural log. That is a log with a base of E. E is a special number. It's 2.718281828 and so on and so on and so on. Like pi, it has its own role in the world of mathematics. E is used in compound interest when things grow or decay continuously like bacteria, people, things that grow or decay continuously would be um, compounded with E just like in geometry we use pi when we're dealing with circles. Okay, writing a natural log. Instead of saying log base E of 6, I would just say ln of 6. ln 6 means natural log of 6. Now if I was going to evaluate that in my calculator, I'd push the ln button and I'd push 6 and I'd have my answer. Okay. So for example, if I was going to write e to the power of x equals 7 in natural log form, my base is e, so I wouldn't say log base e of 7, I would say natural log or ln of 7 equals x. Okay, look at the next one. If I was going to write e to the power of x equals 82, my base is e, so I don't say log base e, I say natural log of 82 equals x. Okay. Natural log of 7 when you evaluate it is 1.95. Natural log of 82 when you evaluate it is 4.41. So make sure you can evaluate each one of those and you can get the uh, correct answer. Alright, solving a natural log equation, look at number 1. We have a minus sign between two logs, just like a regular log. A minus sign between two logs here means that we're going to be dividing. So natural log of x divided by 8 equals 3 natural log of 6. Now the 3 on the right side of the equation is in front of that natural log. That's that power property that we learned a couple sections ago, where that 3 moves up to the power of the 6. 6 to the third power is uh, 216. So this is natural log of 216 on the right side. Now we can cancel out the natural log on both sides of the equation, and you're going to solve the equation x over 8 equals 216. Multiply 8 times 216, and we get 1728 for a final answer. And number two, the plus sign between these two logs means we're multiplying. So natural log of 4x equals natural log of 28. Cancel out the natural log on both sides. 4x equals 28. Divide by 4, x equals 7 for a final answer. Okay, on number three, number four, we have a natural log. We do not have a natural log on the right side of the equation to cancel it out with, so instead we're going to rewrite this. Just like when we were doing regular log and exponential equations in the last lesson, I told you if you had a log, get rid of it to solve the equation. If you don't have a log, put one in to solve the equation. Same rule applies here. If you have a natural log, use E to get rid of it. If you have an E, use a natural log to get rid of it. E and natural log are kind of like inverses of each other. So in number three, we have a natural log. We're going to use E to solve this. E is my base. I'm going to raise it to the power of four. And I'm going to set it equal to 3x plus 5. The 4 comes to the left side, 3x plus 5 goes to the right side. e to the power of 4 can be evaluated in our calculator. e to the power of 4 is 54.6. And now if I set this equal to 3x plus 5, I'm going to subtract 5 to get 49.6. I'm going to divide by 3 to get 16.5 for a final answer. Number 4, same process. Try this one and see if you can do it. Okay, we're going to use e to solve this. e to the power of 3 equals 2x minus 1. e to the power of 3 can be evaluated in your calculator. e is that second division, by the way, if you didn't know where it was. e to the power of 3 is 20.09. It's equal to 2x minus 1, so we're going to add 1 to this and get 21.09 and divide by 2 to get 10.55 for our final answer. Okay, last two. On number 5, we're going to start by subtracting the 2 from 20 to get 18. And on this problem, we have an e, so to get rid of the e, we're going to use natural log to solve this. Natural log 18 
equals x, and when I evaluate natural log 18 in my calculator, I get 2.89, and that equals x for my final answer. On number 6, we start by subtracting 4 from 7 to get 3. Now we have an e in the problem, so you're going to use natural log to get rid of it. Natural log of 3 equals x over 5. Natural log of 3 can be evaluated in your calculator. It's 1.1. Multiply by 5 to get 5.5 for a final answer.